Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all the NYX Laundry lipsticks that I own. Right, so I have all the shades that I never really seen on YouTube before. Well, not, not in the same video anyway. I know for some people, it might be a really old product, but some of my family members didn't even know about NYX Laundry lipsticks. So yeah, I'm just going to show you guys <laughs> my collection. Some of them don't really look good without lip liner. I'm going to try to keep it in the brand without using my MAC chestnut and use the NYX versions instead. So I'm either going to be pairing it with NYX in chestnut or NYX in espresso. I know that they have a shade called Club Hopper out at the moment which is quite similar to um, the ones that I have. So if you can't find chestnut or espresso in the shops, try Club Hopper. That's a good match as well. Right now I have a Revolution Matte Lipstick on with Matte Chestnut Outline. So I'm just going to take that off and use a wipe. The Revolution one wasn't that hard to come off by the way. The NYX ones are quite hard to come off so I hope I don't chase my lips. I must say though, when you do wear these lipsticks, make sure you put lip balm on first. I'm gonna try using my chestnut because I don't really want to waste my espresso out. I'm gonna try to use chestnut for most of the swatches. I'm gonna start off with the nude shades and then I'm gonna go on to the pinkier shades after. This is one of the newer ones that I have bought and this one's called Delicate Last. So I'm gonna line my lips with the chestnut. The next one I'm going to try is called Scandalous. This one is a bit of a pale one, so I'm definitely going to need some lip liner for this one. Pet off the excess and line my lips with just not again. They're not really creamy, those ones. Well, that one anyway. So the next shade is Honeymoon. I'm going to try this without a lip liner first. The next shade I'm going to try is called Teddy and I'm going to use Espresso for this one. Espresso is a little bit darker than Chestnut. So I know that some of them do look okay without the lip liner but I'm just going to put the lip liner on first. It. It's like a brick red. And the next colour I'm going to use is Beauty Mark. Beauty Mark, you don't really need to use a lip liner, but I like to use my lip liner because it makes it look better. So it's like Teddy, but just a bit deeper. The 
shade I'm going to show you is Confident and I've already got my lip liner on. So the next shade I'm going to try is Cabaret Shell. The next shade I'm going to try is Exotic. The next shade I'm going to try is French Made. The next shade I'm going to try is Ruffle Trim and this is one of my favourite ones. And the next one is called Seduction. This is my second favorite one. And the last one is called Bedtime Flirt. This is my least favorite one. I just feel like it's a bit too pink. It's a bit too light. And the formula is a little bit different as well, which is weird. This and Scandalous, yeah. Those are only two I kind of regret buying, but can still make it work. So that's all the shades I have. I do believe that these specific shades are perfect for women of colour. Which is that if you have lighter skin, the shades will come out darker on your skin. And if you have darker skin, the shades will come out lighter. So if you are closer to my shade, um, this is how they look on you, obviously. And I will link a picture of how they look in normal light as well. Just because um, the studio lights can make them look a bit brighter so yeah that's the end of the video guys if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos from me thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys in the next one bye